Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Thursday, May the 11th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and we are in the season of Easter in the Revised Common Lectionary as we read through scripture in its three-year cycle. Today is the Thursday before the sixth Sunday of the season of Easter, and we have three passages of scripture to read, beginning with Psalm 66, verses 8 to 20. Bless our God, O peoples, let the sound of his praise be heard. Who has kept our soul among the living and has not let our feet slip? For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, yet you have brought us out to a place of abundance. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will perform my vows to you. I, that which my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt offerings of fattened animals with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Come and hear all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and high praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly, God has listened. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. I just want to mention that that silent break there was because the word Salah appeared at the end of verse 15. And we don't read the word, it's a command to pause. And so we pause at that point and then continue on. Our final reading comes to us from the New Testament book of the Acts of the Apostles chapter 27 verses 1 to 12 uh, we're going to read through paul's sailing to rome and the events that took place during that and when it was decided that we should sail for italy they delivered paul and some other prisoners to a centurion of the augustan cohort named julius and embarking in a ship of Adar. Adramidium, which was about to sail to the ports along the coast of Asia, we put out to sea, accompanied by Aristarchus, a Macedonian from Thessalonica. The next day we put in at Sidon, and Julius treated Paul kindly and gave him leave to go to his friends and be cared for, and putting out to sea from there we sailed under the lee of Cyprus, because the winds were against us. And when we had sailed across the open sea along the coast of Cilicia and Pamphylia, we came to Myra in Lycia. There the centurion found a ship of Alexandria sailing for Italy and put us on board. We sailed slowly for a number of days and arrived with difficulty off Snidus. And as the wind did not allow us to go further, we sailed under the lee of Crete off Salamone. Coasting along, it was difficult, coasting along it with difficulty, we came to a place called Fair Havens, near which was the city of La Silla. Since much time had passed, and the voyage was now dangerous because even the feast was already over, Paul advised them, saying, Sirs, I perceive that the voyage will be with injury and much loss, not only of the cargo and the ship, but also of our lives. 
but the centurion paid more attention to the pilot and to the owner of the ship than to what Paul said. And because the harbor was not suitable to spend the winter in, the majority decided to put out to sea from there on the chance that somehow they could reach Phoenix, a harbor of Crete, facing both southwest and northwest and spend the winter there. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us. Grant through the power of your Holy Spirit that it can be worked permanently into our minds, hearts, and souls, wherein it will work in us what is good and pleasing to your will, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. As always, friends, I thank you for taking a few moments out of your day to listen to the Word of God. I've recorded the references for the passages we've just read uh, in the description portion of this video so that you can read them again. And by that, I hope you might be able to commit some of them to memory, certainly to have their meaning and their message drive deeper into your heart and help you on your discipleship walk with Jesus Christ. Until we can be together again to hear the scriptures chosen for that day, I pray that day will be tomorrow, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom. <laughs>